Hey guys, so this video is going to focus on how do we divide complex numbers. So complex numbers are going to be your eyes here, your imaginary numbers. So we can see here I have two examples where we are dividing, um, where our numerator and our denominator are both complex numbers and we have to carry out this division. Now the main thing to remember when dividing complex numbers, especially in this form right here, is we need to keep in mind what a conjugate is because that's the main thing that we're going to use in order to do this division. Now the conjugate is going to come into place when we take a look at the denominator. Essentially this denominator is what we're going to be working with. It's what we're going to be wanting to simplify in order to carry out this division. If I took a look at example A, we have 52i divided by 5 plus i. We want to zero in on the denominator and specifically the step that we want to remember in order to carry out this division is actually going to be a multiplication. What we want to do is we want to multiply our numerator and our denominator by the conjugate of our denominator. Now, I keep saying this word conjugate if you have no idea what I'm talking about. A conjugate of our denominator would look like almost exactly the same thing as our current denominator, just change the sign in between those two terms. Instead of 5 plus i, it's going to be 5 minus i. Had that been 3 minus 2i, we would do 3 plus 2i. Keep the denominator the same, just change the sign that's in between the two terms. If it's positive, make it a negative. If it was negative, make it a positive. That's really all a conjugate is. But we're going to multiply numerator and denominator by the conjugate because what that's going to do is it's going to simplify this for us. So essentially we're trying to get rid of the imaginary numbers in our denominator is what we're trying to do. So this is what it's going to look like. So because our denominator is 5 plus i, we are going to multiply it by its conjugate, which is 5 minus i. And we are going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by that 5 minus i. Okay, and we're going to carry out this multiplication. Remember that 5 minus i over 5 minus i is really just equal to 1, so all we're doing is multiplying by 1. So it's not changing the value of our fraction that we have here, but it's going to change the way that it looks and put it in a form that's a little bit uh, nicer as far as math is concerned. So let's go ahead and multiply. In our numerator, we have 52i times the 5 minus i. We are going to distribute. We're taking the 52i, we're going to multiply it by the 5, and then we're going to take the 52i and multiply it by the i. So starting with 52i minus 5, well, 52 uh, times 5, let me go ahead and just use my handy dandy calculator here. My mental math game is not always correct. Uh, so that gives us 260i. All right, we're just multiplying the numbers that I just carry on over. Minus, since we have that minus there, 52i times i. So 52, and then i times i is i squared. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, multiply the denominator before we start working on simplifying. We do need to keep in mind rules of i's when we do that, but we're going to get to that in just a second. In the denominator, we can FOIL this out since we have a binomial times a binomial. Remember the FOIL method says to multiply the first times the first, that is 5 times 5, which is 25. Then FOIL says to multiply your outside two terms, which is the 5 times the minus i, so that's a negative 5i. Next is your inside two terms, i times 5, or 5 times i, it's just going to give us a 5i. And then last times last, which is i times i, is going to give us a negative i squared. Before I start simplifying here, we do need to keep in mind that there is a rule that says that i squared is equal to negative 1. And that's going to come into play because we have these two i squares right over here. So those technically are equal to negative 1. So that when we simplify this, and let me move that over here, i squared is equal to negative 1. So that we simplify this here in the numerator, this i squared here is going to turn into a negative 1. So I'm just going to move that 260i over. And then we have this minus 52 now times a negative 1. Negative 52 times a negative 1 is going to turn that into a positive 52. In our denominator, we also need to do a little cleanup. Uh, our two middle terms are uh, almost the same thing. One is positive, one is negative. 
So a negative 5i plus a 5i is actually equal to a 0. Those two go away, leaving us with 25 minus this i squared. Again, keep in mind, i squared is equal to a negative 1. So this here is a negative 1. The minus in front of that still counts. We did not get rid of this. All we did is change that i squared to a negative 1. So this really leaves us with 25 minus a negative 1. Make sure you remember that double negative rule that changes that to a 25 plus 1, which leaves us with a 26 here. Now the only thing left here to do is to do some simplifying. If we take a look at all three terms that we have, we have the 260i, we have the 52, we have the 26. These can actually be simplified. So if you take a look at all three of these numbers, they're all even numbers so that we know that we can actually simplify them all by a factor of two. I'm pretty sure there's a bigger number than that. So taking a look at these three numbers, it actually looks like we might be able to divide both of them by 26. So keep in mind this is a division. This is really saying 260i divided by 26 plus 52 divided by 26. It's everything in the numerator that's getting divided by the same denominator. And if we actually simplify this, 260 divided by 26 is a 10i plus 52 divided by 26 is actually equal to a 2. So this completely simplifies out, leaving us with a 10i plus 2 as our final answer. But again, just keep in mind, multiply by your conjugate and just work on simplifying the rest of the problem. Let's move on to example B. So if we take a look at example B, we're going to focus on the denominator, which is 8 minus 2i. So the conjugate of that should be 8 plus 2i. Again, it's the same thing, just change the sign. So we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 8 plus 2i. And let's go ahead and see what we get when we do this multiplication. In the numerator, we have a monomial times this binomial, so we're just going to go ahead and distribute that. So that's going to be 3i times 8. 3 times 8 is a 24, and tack on that i. Plus 3i times 2i, so number times number, i times i. 3 times the 2 is a 6, and i times i gives us i squared. Again, keep in mind that is going to cancel to a negative 1. Foiling the denominator, so starting with first, 8 times 8 is 64. Outside is the 8 times the 2i, 8 times 2 is 16i. Middle two terms is the negative 2i times 8, which gives us a negative 16i. And last times last is negative 2i times positive 2i. Negative 2 times 2 gives us a negative 4. And then i times i gives us an i squared. Doing some cleanup here. In the numerator, we need to go ahead and get rid of that i squared and plug in a negative 1. So that is going to give us 24i. And then here we have a 6 times this negative 1. So that's going to make that a minus 6. In the denominator, your middle two terms will also cancel out since you have 16i and then negative 16i, so that when you do combine those together, you do get a zero. Otherwise, we have this 64 over here. And in the back, we have this negative 4 times i squared, but remember that i squared is negative 1, so that's really negative 4 times negative 1, which is a positive 4. And if we combine that with the 64 that we have here in the front, we actually get a 68. Um, so taking a look at, for this one here, that once again, they are all three of our terms here, all even numbers, so I know that a 2 works. And actually for this one, I believe that that's all we can do here. We can divide each one of these by a 2 to simplify it, giving us 12i minus 3 over a 34. And that would be our final answer for this problem. Otherwise, that's it for this video.